Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my Laravel blog project. In this video series, we are going to build a blog from start to finish using Laravel, Livewire 3, Filament PHP, and Jetstream. So this project was voted out by you guys about a month ago. I did a poll on the channel and this project got the most number of votes. I will have the poll on the screen so you guys can see. So if you want to participate on the next poll, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when I am you know, post the next one. Also, I appreciate it if you guys hit that like button. These videos take quite a bit of time to record, so I appreciate all the supports. So let me show you guys what we are going to build throughout the course. So we're going to build a blog that's kind of based on medium.com. We have a simple landing page where we have a simple uh, hero section. We can, of course, go ahead and customize this. We'll have some uh, featured posts. We also have some latest posts here. So these are customizable. You can show whatever you like. Uh, we can go ahead and click on a single post and go ahead and view it. For now, I'm going to click on more posts. So we will have a blog page similar to this where all the posts are kind of uh, displayed. We will have pagination and we're going to be using uh, a lot of a live wire. So there are no page reloads. Everything happens live, similar to a single page application, or at least gives the feeling of a single page application. Uh, we will have the ability to sort by descending or ascending. Let me go back to the first page so you can also sort. Uh, we have the ability to sort by tags slash categories so each post can have multiple categories right now for example this one has laravel uh, this one has laravel and php so if i click on php it will show me all the posts that have the php category right now this is the only one if i click on laravel it will show me all the laravel uh, posts by the way if you guys notice there are no page reloads so we're going to be using uh, library 3 wire navigate to achieve all of this which is very cool now on the right side we also have the ability to do live search so if I go ahead, I can go ahead and, for example, type in PHP and get all the posts that have PHP in there. None of them do. So we're not searching by the tags. Well, let me go back. Let's say for Donnie. Let's search for Donnie. So I'm going to say D-O-N-N. -N. And as you can see, we have a live search over here as well. Okay. And as I type in, the search results update. Now, one more feature we have, guys, is the ability to like and unlike posts. As you can notice, we have a like button over here. So I can click on it. I already have liked this one. It unliked it. And I can go ahead and like it as well. Very simple. Of course, this also means we need to have the ability to log in and log out. So we do have an authentication system. So right now I'm logged in. I'm going to go ahead. As you can see, we have a bar at the top. I can log out. And then we have login and register buttons. I'm going to click on register. This is our register page. We can also go ahead and log in. Just like this, we also have forgot password. So all of this functionality is provided by uh, Laravel Jetstream. I'm going to click on login. And once we log in again, we get our profile picture at the top. Now, we also have a profile page. So on this profile page, we are, have the ability to update our photo and also our name and email. We have a reset password or update password functionality as well as 2FA and kind of these browser sessions. Again, these are customizable. You can disable them if you don't like it uh, on your application. So again, it's using Fortify. So these are customizable. Now, that, as I said, let's go back to the blog. You can go ahead and click on a single post and view it as well. So if I click on it, uh, I'll bring a page like this. We have the image. We get the obviously post, the author, things like that. Again, here you also have the ability to like and unlike if you want. And then we also have a comments box. So here I'm going to go ahead and post some comments. A nice post, just like this. And again, we have the ability to post comments as well. Now, if I, you're logged out, you won't be able to post a comment. So let me go ahead and log out. And I'm going to, I don't know, select the post. It tells us, hey, log in to post a comment and let me go ahead and find the blog post that i just select now was it this donny one yeah as you can see we can't see other people's comments but we don't have the ability to post a comment it asks us to log in so if i click on it it takes me to the login page so let's go ahead and log in we also will have an admin panel a simple admin panel we're going to be using a uh, filament php but it is very customizable so uh, you have to go slash admin and on this page we have the ability to obviously update categories. I do have quite a bit. I have like 14 of them. Uh, so I have some random data here. But basically for categories, you have the name, you have a slug, you have a description. You can also go ahead and define the Tailwind CSS classes. So the colors are defined over here. And then we also have a section for all the posts. You can post here. We can search them. And yeah, this is how it looks, okay? So I have a post here. We have the ability to update this using some HTML. Things like that. We have a simple description that's shown. And then we have the ability to publish or unpublish them, add categories or not. Let's go ahead and give it a PHP category as well as Laravel. 
And again, you can also change when the post is published, okay? So you can maybe uh, schedule it for next week or something like that. And again, save changes. So that's going to be it, guys. I hope you were excited. Uh, we can, of course, maybe if you have any suggestions, you can let me know. And throughout the course, I will update it and add it to the, to the project if you guys like. So now that we have seen what we are going to build, let's go ahead and actually set up the project and make sure we are ready to actually code. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys, so I have gone ahead and installed a fresh Laravel 10 project. So that's going to be our base. Go ahead and install a fresh Laravel project because we're going to be needing it for a Laravel jet stream. So this is my project over here, as you guys can see. I just created it like three minutes ago, and this is the main view file. Okay, so now that we have gone ahead and installed Laravel, let's go ahead and start off by first installing Laravel Jetstream. So we can go ahead on Google and type in uh, Laravel Jetstream. I will also have the link in the description. So it should be the first link on uh, Google. So let's go ahead and click on it. I do also have a tutorial on Laravel Jetstream. So if you want, you can go ahead and check that on my channel. You can just search it. But if you go ahead on the left, make sure you have selected version number four at the top. Click on installation. And over here, it will give you a composer command. Okay, so we don't need the first two. So the first one will create a lot of a project for us, which you should already have. This one will CD in. So this is the command we want. Uh, composer require a lot of jet stream. You can also uh, kind of type it in yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, move over to my project, open up the terminal. Now I'm using the VS Code integrated terminal. You can use any regular terminal. Uh, either on Mac or on Windows or Linux. So I'm just going to go ahead and type that in on my project, hit enter. And Composer will go ahead and require all the jo uh, Jetstream dependencies. Now Jetstream 4 uses a LiveWire 3, so we don't need to install LiveWire 3 separately. It also sets up a Telvin CSS for us, so it's going to be ready to go out the box. Now while that is uh, installing, let's go back to the documentation. Let's scroll down. Uh, if you scroll down, there's going to be a section on install Jetstream with LiveWire. So that's going to be what we will use. Make sure you're using this one. Uh, go ahead and just copy the first command, okay? PHP art send Jetstream install LiveWire. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this command. Go back to our application. The installation should be done. We can go ahead and now paste that in. This one is quite important because this will be basically what will bring all the files. So I'm going to go ahead, type, hit enter. And it's kind of telling us migration created successfully. So this will go ahead and actually uh, set up all the Jetstream 4 files for us. It's also setting up LiveWire, as you guys can see. All right, it will take a few seconds. Once that is done, you can scroll down. There is a few more steps we have to do. So we need to do npm install, npm rom build, and php arts and migrate. Now, these first two steps are actually already done when you do the LiveWire install, but I'm going to go ahead and run them anyways, just to be safe. So it's still running. So let me go ahead and copy these. Now, this does mean you need to install Node.js if you don't have it on your project. Make sure you go ahead and install it so you can go on, uh, just copy, search Node.js and install the latest uh, LTS version, which is the long-term support, okay? So we can go ahead and install that on your system. I assume most of you guys already have that. So now let's go ahead, copy this. I'm gonna paste that in. We'll go ahead and install things already. Obviously it's already installed, so it should run just fine. Let's do npm run build as well. And let's go ahead. This last one is going to migrate your uh, database. So in order for this to work, you need to make sure you have set up your database connection properly. So that is done inside your .env file. So on the left side, search for .env. This is the file where your database connection is defined. So it's this line here. Now, by default, I'm going to be using the one that is provided. So I still, I don't have a database named uh, yellow news yet but i will create it right now and i'm going to be using the root username okay so you can go ahead and customize this if you guys have a custom setup for yourself uh, but for me i'm just going to use the default root for local development it should be fine so we can go ahead and type in php artisan migrate now in laravel 10 uh, it's asking us to create a database i'm going to say yes and this will go ahead and migrate the database. So this is quite important because again, we need to have the ability to create users. So let's go back guys. Now we should be able to reload this page. And if we reload now, we have a nice looking login over here. So these are all provided by Jetstream. And again, we also should have a register page, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and create a test user. And I'm gonna give it some random password. Let's go ahead and register. And if you're able to register, that means you have done all the steps correctly and the UI should look something similar to this that I have over here, okay? 
and you should also have the ability to go to the profile page. Now, I do like to also enable the profile picture functionality. So in order to do that, guys, let's go back to our application. I'm going to close the terminal. If you notice, actually, on the resources, there should now be some new files, actually quite a few of them. Throughout the course, we'll go ahead and customize some of them, especially the components and the layout. And on the config, also, you should have some new config files. So there's one for Sanctum. Uh, we're not going to be touching that for now. Uh, the one we care about is Jetstream and Fortify. So let's go ahead and open up the Jetstream.php file. It's going to be inside config, Jetstream. So let's open it up. And if you scroll down, in this section, there is a section called uh, Futures, a configuration called Futures. Now you can go ahead and customize this. Now for me, I don't like the ability to delete accounts. So I'm going to comment that out. And I'm going to go ahead and enable profile photos. I'm also going to go ahead and enable terms and privacy policy, okay? So this will go ahead and add a terms and conditions page for us. So let's go ahead, do a quick reload. And now we have this profile picture section. Again, we see our profile picture at the top. So you guys can go ahead and upload a profile picture. I think it's a nice functionality to have for our users. If you don't want to enable it, again, uh, don't uncomment this. Now this terms and policy also has one extra feature. If I log out and I go to our register page, now it gives us this checkbox. If you guys remember, this wasn't actually there initially. So if you don't want the terms and condition page, uh, you can also go ahead and uncomment this. If I comment it out, it went away. Okay, so that's actually all we have to do, guys, for this first episode. This will just set up our project so we are ready to actually start coding on the next episode. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. I try to help you guys out. So now that we are done, let's go ahead and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.